uh, I'm with the American Red Cross, and I see that you are scheduled to donate platelets tomorrow. Yes, I am. Great. Well, I'm a platelet donor coach, and I'm meeting with experienced donors like yourself to see how you prepare. May I come in? Well, I'm going to come in. Uh, That's such a cute dog. Well, okay, now, some people get chilly while donating, so what do you plan to wear? Well, I like to wear a three-quarter length shirt. That way, mm. I'm warm and they have access to my arm. Something like this. Oh, love the color, too. I also like to wear fuzzy socks. These keep me warm. A whole bin of fuzzy socks? During my donation. Okay, which pair are we gonna wear tomorrow? Well, we have that. We have a frog. These are like shoes. Yes. Listen, um, I'm gonna need to borrow these for research. Research. Yeah, mm. and these ones for research. You know what, I'm just I... gonna take them all with me. Just, you know, just for research, for platelet research. A spoonful of molasses. That really works. I had dealt with some uh, iron problems earlier on. One of the technicians at the Red Cross suggested a spoonful of molasses the day before I donate. So I started trying it and it's worked every time. You wanna give it a shot? That's a big scoop. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, oh no, that's not like honey. What so, do you think? So iron rich, it could take on the world. That's it. You're not reacting, neither am I. So, how much sleep do you get the night before donating? At least eight hours. It's really important to be well rested. So I try to be asleep by midnight, and then I'm up at about 8 a.m. the next morning. Oh, late. <laughs> but it's good to get sleep. Yes, it's really important to be well rested, have a good breakfast. Yeah, so you should probably get to sleep now, which means I should probably go. Good night. See you bright and early. Hi. Hmm. Are you ready to donate today? Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, I've been up, I've been up. Have you filled out the uh, rapid pass in advance, the uh, American Red Cross? Oh. They've got a, a blood donor app. Will save you a lot of time when you get inside. Yeah. All those questions you have to fill out in advance, you can just do it all right here. That's great. Have you had coffee yet? Coffee. No, 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 no. You don't want to do coffee before you donate. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Hydration is the key to donating. Hydration clean. is the key. It is. It is. In fact, let me show you this video that I did. Hey, guys. I'm getting ready to donate platelets in a couple of days, and you know you got to have water. That's good. I mean, that's the key to it. An entire water bottle. Suck the dry again. See ya. And always prior to me donating, I gotta use the bathroom first. So, Smart. you know what? That's my clue. I'll catch you later. See oh, ya. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll join. I wasn't gonna go with you. I was gonna stand outside. Right, Renee? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Thanks. I love this movie. What do you do if you have an itch? Hi, Trevor. I heard you have an itch. Yeah. Where is it? On my nose. All right, let me get that for you. Mm. Oh. A little to the left, right there. All right, is there anything else I can do for you? No, not at the moment, thank you. You're welcome. I can use a juice. It's not about me. See, donating is as easy as a spoonful of molasses. And it benefits so many people. You'll do great. So thanks for donating. And thanks for letting me come into your home. Just kidding. You'll never see me again. Good. Nice. Hey, uh, these are free, right? 